what's good YouTube because of Carby here so we're diving into some Tim mentioned this is a request from way this is the aeroplane featuring a smara beak or bike one of those two y'all will let me know how it's pronounced I already know I'm excited to check out some more Tim he has really deep lyrics he's a very meaningful artist this is probably going to be a more serious one considering that it's a newer one it looks like so we will see tim is not afraid to get on the controversial takes and tell you how he feels about things and do it in a funny and comedic way but also when he gets serious as we have seen in his more serious songs He's also very great at that emotional side of things as well. So I love both sides of him. I'm excited to see what we get with this. We got two artists on this song right here. We have never had a Smara on a song before. So we'll see what that's all about once we get into this. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, instrumentation, stage, performance, lighting. I like going the whole nine yards. So I'm really busting all the lyrics down, talking about the meanings inside of it. Music expresses a lot of things that are difficult to explain in conversation a lot of the time. So, that's my favorite thing about breaking the lyrics down for you guys is that we get to have important conversations many times in many videos on here. And I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys tuning in. In every video, I like to make it a point to say that if you're struggling with mental health or an addiction problem, please go get professional help. It's available. There's people who care. Most of them are people who have been through it themselves and pulled themselves out. I'm one of those people. I survived alcoholism and drug addiction both at the same time. I quit drugs before I quit alcohol, and I'm 16 months sober from alcohol. So, it's... <coughs> Excuse me, it's been a hell of a journey. It's been a wild time, and I've learned a lot getting on here and talking to you guys and breaking down the lyrics of these songs and just learning so much about life together through it. I mean, we've had an endless amount of conversations on here at this point, and you guys have a lot of great insight that I've even implemented into my own recovery journey and everything like that to where we can just share so much advice with each other on here and like i said i've even applied it to my own journey some of the things that you guys have said to me so i think it's awesome we have a community like that and i appreciate you guys building it with me it wouldn't be possible without you guys being here so thank you for all of your support i really appreciate it and please go get professional help if you need it it will make your life so much better you can get out there and show the world what you're actually made of and show them that you have something to offer inside of the world right and you can also inspire and motivate others to get sober get better mental health and i mean it's just it's wild it's wild the amount that you can actually inspire people if you survive a dark place because i think you oftentimes know what to say because you're just relating it to what you see because you've been there right and when you see that in front of you after you've been through it you know what you would have wanted somebody to say to you so then you can say it to people and sometimes that's a hard truth and that's blunt but that's okay right that's okay sometimes it has to be a hard blunt truth but enough of that Let's get into some music for you guys. I appreciate you tuning in. I'm Vakasa Kabi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. We got Tim mentioned the aeroplane featuring a Smara bike. Four years ago, four and a half years ago, we cast a kid who was nine in Upright to play my brother's daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my character's brother's daughter. And... Uh, and kind of, she did had to play a bit of piano for the role, but, um, but uh, she was a great little actress, so we cast her. And then when I wrote this new season, I thought, wouldn't it be great if that character could sing a song? But we had no idea if she could um, sing. Oh. So we sort of said, can you sing? And uh, I'd like to introduce you well then. <laughs> to the answer to that question, well Asmara Fike. Oh, it's Fike. Wow. 
thing can you sing and then the song happened that's crazy some people are just born with talent man some people just naturally have it inside of their souls to be able to like sing and stuff like that it's really a soul vibe thing right she's not nine anymore she's 12. yes it's the the ongoing passage of time it just keeps you keep getting older <laughs> like you were nine and now you're 12 and soon you'll be 47 and you'll be falling over on stages uh -huh. humiliating yourself in a mustache absolutely <laughs> All right, how are you That's feeling? funny, man. Absolutely terrifying. <laughs> How's the really most? Really nervous. What, what's the, she's done a lot of she's done a lot of telly work, but how many? What's the most people you've sung live in front of in your life? Like twenty people. Twenty people. Wow. Oh, all right, you're ready. Yeah. Okay. It's like she's like twenty people. Yeah. Twenty people can still feel like a lot, depending on the energy in the room, though, right? That's wild. He brought her out in front of a huge crowd if she's ever done that before. It's cool the way that he approaches it. I like that he's like putting comedy and making the situation like kind of humorous to bring the nerves down, right? You can always tell when someone's nervous and I like whenever you see a performer like helping someone through it whenever they're having a first time experience, especially in front of a big crowd or something. That support is really important. This is a song I wrote for season two of Upright. It's called The Aeroplane. It's my latest single. And Mara's going to sing it for you. <laughs> so fun. Yeah. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Okay, have a sip. I'm going to sip my wine. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what I need no, right now. Really, really not. not. This is not the 1930s, darling. <laughs> This is not the 1930s. Tim's funny, man. Tim is a funny dude. If I had the book. No, you were perfect. You were perfect. I Sorry. I, the trouble is, I never play anything the same way twice. You ask my band, it's always Tim. different every single night. So you just experience that. Although, do you remember earlier in the concert where I started playing a song in the wrong key? And you remember <laughs> later on, I tripped over on my face and put a massive hole in my shin. Yeah, so it's kind of like these people expect absolute fucking <laughs> madness all the time. <laughs> <laughs> There's only 20 of them out there. That's just a noise machine. Here we go. If I had the blueprint or the brain up on this lyric sheet her voice is insanely good for only being 12 years old that's crazy that's a lot of talent to have at that age that's a lot of training that's already been done vocally for sure I mean hanging out with somebody like Tim mentioned making movies with him and stuff like that I imagine you would learn a lot about vocalization and stuff just from the environment. That's where the really gets learned. If you're in the environment of it happening a lot around you, you'll pick up on the little talents and stuff and the little tricks just by observing it. And this is a shining example right here with Asmara. Very talented, extremely talented vocals right there. Very controlled. I like the control in it. If I had the blueprint or the brain, I would build an aeroplane. 
I'd fashion wings of balsa wood and glue, and I would fly to you. That is beautifully written right there. I love it. I'd carve a prop from old recycled wood halves. All these relentless could halves. These pointless might have beens. Wow. That is really deep right there. I'd carve a prop from old recycled wood halves. All these relentless could haves. Wow. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, that's what he's saying there, these pointless might have beens. Oh, the storms that I would gladly battle through so I could fly to you. Wow. This is a really, really deep analogy for love right here, describing it as aeroplanes, but wanting to build one because you're thinking about would haves and could haves and should I have done that different? Wow. The way that Tim words things just strikes your soul so deeply. I always just, I have to sit here and read it more than once. When I'm just always scrolling up and down reading it more than once to really let it sink in. He is so deep. This performance is beautiful. I like the way Tim balances tension and nerves on the stage. Like, he can tell that that's a very nervous situation and the first time it's ever been done for us, Mara. So he's balancing it with humor and making fun of himself and stuff like that, too, to make comfort inside of the situation. And that's a really, really awesome thing to see. It shows how genuine of a person and nice of a guy Tim actually is, that he goes out of his way to make sure that everyone on stage is comfortable and everything like that. I appreciate that in an artist. Had all the method, all the means I would build a time machine mm -hmm. Yes I'd make it from the scraps you always find Someone leaves their broken dreams behind. That's really deep right there. <clears throat> Tim is on another level of deep with like his more new songs. Like you guys said, he calmed down a lot towards this later stage of his career. And he has, uh, has such a heartfelt way of making analogies inside of his songs he's on a time machine scheme with this one had i the method or the means i would build a time machine i'd make it from the scraps you always find when someone leaves their broken dreams behind oh my goodness he said i'm gonna pick it up and do it for the ones that couldn't that's what he just said there wow that is a really deep way to say that wow he said i'm gonna take all the broken dreams that i've seen around me and i'm gonna build them into what can inspire everybody is what he just said there that is insane that is insanely good lyricism right there I have to read that again. Had I the method or the means, I would build a time machine. I'd make it from the scraps you always find when someone leaves their broken dreams behind. That is a bar. That's one of the top ten bars we've had in any song on the channel of any genre. That is one of the most well-crafted verse sections we've ever had on the channel. I don't expect anything less from Tim at this point. We haven't covered a whole, whole lot of him on the channel yet, but we've covered enough for me to know what this guy's all about, and he just keeps leveling up, even in these soft songs that are more chill and not as comedic and wild as some of the ones we've covered already. This is beautiful. And I fuel it with the beats that my heart misses My and you sign your name with kisses Made of answers when you text me It's so silly but Any fuel and any fire will do I will fly to you 
is so beautiful. Their harmony is so on point with the vocals. I really love the harmony of the vocals. It's perfect contrast in the vibe, right? Wow, he said, I'd fuel it with the beats that my heart misses. When you sign your name with kisses made of X's when you text me. It's so silly, but any fuel and any fire will do. I will fly to you. That is wild. His wordplay is so meticulous. It really is. I'd feel it with the beats that my heart misses. Oh my goodness. Now he's fueling up the plane with the beats that his heart misses. He said, when you sign your name with kisses made of X's when you text me. It's so silly, but any fuel and any fire will do, I will fly to you. He's obviously probably talking about his wife, right? And his love songs are immaculate. He is really good at love songs. Even though he didn't show that side of himself a lot in his early career, later on, his wordplay, it shows you how deeply he thinks and views the topic of love with another person. And it's, it's insanely deep to the point where he can fashion a song out of building a plane with the scraps of his emotions and fueling it with the beats of his heart and every I mean like this is creative this is really creative writing right here I love his style when it comes to this more serious stuff inside of his music and like I said this collab is beautiful the harmonies on the vocals are amazing this is just an all-around great performance and great song right here and I carve a prop from old recycled wood has all these relentless could has these pointless minor things All the storms that I would gladly battle through So I could fly to you storms that I would gladly battle through so I could fly to you <laughs> that, was, that was terrifying right <laughs> them nerves will get you on stage man I'm telling you when it's a big crowd and you've never been in front of one before that's crazy <laughs> beautiful look at that that's a lot of people that is definitely a lot of people though this is a great song right here I really love stuff like this the Absence of You by Tim Minchin. We did that one. That one's the most recent one before this one that we did, actually. I really, really enjoyed this performance a lot. It was great to have that contrast in the vocals there. And the song itself, like I said, the lyrics are very creative. The way that he uses analogies and metaphors is top tier he is one of the best writers we've had on the channel everything you guys recommend is top tier musically like everyone can play their instruments everyone can actually sing everybody that we cover has deep lyrics and meaningful topics inside of their songs this is just a love song about <sighs> it's really it's metaphorical as in, like, not literally building an airplane and flying to them. It's the, it's the message of it is, like, this is what I want to recycle my emotions 
and experiences of my life into to fashion something that could land where you are and we could be together. That's the metaphor. It's so deep. It's so deep whenever you break the metaphor apart into what it's actually saying. That's wild. That is so wild. Just wondering because of mistakes that have been made, the could haves, the times that you could have said something and you didn't, or could have did something in life and you didn't, the pointless might have been's, right? Not sometimes you might have had a chance to capitalize on a situation in life when it comes to love and you didn't, and then you wonder about it for the rest of your life. It's just really so many things that go into the dynamic of what he's talking about right here. But Tim is a really great lyricist, let me tell you. I really liked this. I loved this performance. Like I said, the vocal harmonies were fantastic. Asmara did a fantastic job in front of that many people. I think even some people that have performed in front of a lot of crowds would probably get nervous to walk out in front of that many people, right? A lot of performers will tell you that even though they've been doing it their whole life, they still get nervous before every time they play. It's just a thing that happens. Your body reacts like that sometimes because of adrenaline and all the energy around. It's just how it is. But Tim did a very nice job of calming the situation and making a beautiful performance out of it. Great vocal harmonies, amazing message inside of the song. I don't expect anything else from Tim but that, and I'm glad that we got to see another more like wholesome and serious side of him again. Very awesome right here. Thank you, Way. The original video will be in the description as always. Subscribe to Tim, support the artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for, get the music out into the world, relate it to our own lives. This is just a song that has a very deep metaphor about building aeroplanes out of your emotions and fueling it with your heartbeats, and it's all in the act of love to want to arrive with another person. A very beautiful metaphor right here. I really love this one. Like I always say, please go get that professional help for mental health or addiction if you need it. Pull yourself out of those problems. You really can live a better life for yourself and inspire other people to do the same thing. I believe everybody deserves that chance, especially when they've been through a lot of tough times in their life. It can be really hard to find balance inside of getting yourself out of those things, but I promise you, once you find it, You'll really find things that you love to do, and those things can also benefit other people and help them out if in whatever they're going through, or you can inspire them to just chase their dreams in general by chasing yours, and that's the beauty of it all. I love you guys. We're going to get out of here. I'm Vikasa Kabi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me, comment those suggestions, subscribe up this way, bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.